climate change is one of the biggest societal challenges of today. Therefore, it's important to make a transition towards more sustainable methods of production as well as consumption. And the best time to do that is now. Hello, I'm Robin Guter and I'm 22 years old. Ever since I've been interested in developing my own product, I wanted to do this by only using bio-based materials. And I wanted to do this because today, half of all of our greenhouse gas emissions are caused by the production of materials only. Fortunately, sustainable products are still much more expensive than petrol-based conventional materials. Therefore, to make a business profitable, it is important to know whether customers will be willing to pay more for a sustainable product. Hence, in this short film, I'm going to explain which nudging strategies are going to be most effective in influencing people, their intentions, their attitudes, and their willingness to pay towards sustainable products. So what exactly is nudging? Well, nudging can be implemented to subconsciously stimulate people to make better choices concerning their health and their surrounding natural environment. You can see nudging as giving someone a gentle push into the right direction which in this case would be the promotion of sustainable consumer behavior. So in this research, my research question and hypothesis state that to what extent could the implementation of different nudging strategies improve a customer's positive attitude, generate a higher purchasing intention, and ultimately cause the act of being willing to pay more for a sustainable product compared to a non-sustainable product. This quantitative research included 98 participants and can be labeled as a descriptive research design. After having exposed all of our participants to the three different nudging strategies, we can conclude that the most effective nudging strategy to influence people's attitudes about sustainable products is the nudging strategy of providing general information. This means educating and inspiring your peers about what global warming entails, the harm it creates, and the waste it produces. But if your goal is not to improve sustainable attitudes, but rather want people to dislike non-sustainable products, you should actually nudge them by praying their guilt or satisfactory feelings towards the environment, by for example stating the devastating or desired consequences that people can bring about personally. The nudge according to social norms shows not to be much more effective in comparison to not implementing a nudging strategy at all. To most effectively nudge purchasing intentions towards sustainability, both the provision of general information as well as the provision of personal information can be implemented, because both situations persuaded almost all people to buy the sustainable product over the non-sustainable product. Consequently, these strategies also most effectively decreased people's intentions towards non-sustainability. Additionally, the nudge of social norms does persuade people to buy sustainable over non-sustainable. Nonetheless, just not as significant as the other strategies do. Not implementing a nudging strategy at all would leave the majority of participants with a preference regarding non-sustainability. To achieve the highest willingness to pay for sustainable products, the nudging strategy of providing personal information has shown to be the most effective. At the same time, this strategy decreases people's willingness to pay for a non-sustainable product with the largest amount. The nudge of general information can be seen as the second most profitable strategy, whereas the nudge of social norms shows to be the least effective again. This means that respondents were not easily influenced by the sustainable norms of their hypothetical peers throughout the research. So to conclude, what is the best nudging strategy towards sustainability after all? Because the purchasing intention seems to be indifferent in the last two nudging strategies, we should then choose a strategy in which the customers are willing to pay the most for a sustainable product. My data shows that this can be achieved by implementing the nudging strategy of providing personal information, which accordingly makes this the most successful nudging strategy after all. The outcome of the study is relevant because it shows that implementing nudging strategies can positively or negatively influence people, their attitudes, their intentions and willingness to pay. Because we now know that consumers would be willing to pay more 
for sustainable products by being nudged in the right way. I believe that we can do way more to save our planet for ourselves and for future generations.